everybody. We're back. Everyone's here. Hello. Hi. And it's it was interesting last week, shall we say. <laughs> um, there was a lot of conversation. There was actually some combat. And uh, but now that everyone's back together, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I look. It, it's been a long morning already. Uh -huh. So uh, before mm -hmm. we do anything, let's let's tell everyone who we are. So in going to the left, we're going to start with Latia because you were gone for two weeks and we missed you. Yay. Thank you. I missed all of you. Also, hi, I'm Latia. Um, I play Dahani, everybody's favorite Eric Hoker monk who is doing something right <laughs> now. <laughs> who knows? Well, I'll, I'll find out. I have not watched the episodes specifically because I have no clue what's going on <laughs> so um my pronouns are she her and so are hers and then there's me hi i'm basric nomad i don't know what occurred but we're Why in are we all afraid of this uh, today. i don't know <laughs> i'm so nervous now uh hi i'm i'm masood Huck. i play godric nomad everyone's favorite socialist businessman druid construct yeah. there it is we landed it we're in it now uh both our pronouns are he him um yeah we're excited to get back into what unnerving things can happen at the edge of the astral plane that sounds way too ominous. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Brian. I play, I play Virgil, uh, your Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. And hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, I am playing Kent, our tiefling rogue. Uh, I also did not watch last week's uh, session because I was specifically instructed not to because everyone wanted to see my reactions to finding out what had happened. <laughs> so... I'm feeling a lot of pressure this morning, but other than that, I'm excited to ha to be back with Kent. Uh, both of our pronouns are he, him. <laughs> and I'm Sharif. Uh, I'll be playing Shaka. Uh, both of our pronouns are he, him. Uh, Shaka is a tiefling celestial warlock slash negotiator. Mm. <laughs> so you think. Uh-oh. What? Well, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, just you wait when we do the recap. Oh, it's a good try. Danger. It's a new class that, oh, that, that, that they rolled out. <laughs> just for you. Just for just for me. <laughs> but we're we're getting there. I, and I'm your DM for the season, Tanya. I normally play Cisa Storio and her girlfriend Faye, as well as Fenris, the direwolf familiar puppy. But today and for the rest of the season, I am all of your NPCs. So my pronouns are she, her. NPCs vary by NPC. And with that, uh, I believe we have some ad reads. Yeah, so let's talk about the people that make our show awesome and that help us do our things. So let's start with D&D &D Beyond. Um, all our character sheets are online. Um, so we have access to spells, to all of our actions. Because we never look up stuff, we, we memorize everything. But just in case you don't have that memory ability, you can look it up. Um, you can look up monsters on the fly, stats. You can manage encounters. You can roll, roll uh, dice on there, uh, which is great. Um, so yeah, every, everything that you need is there at dndbeyond.com. Um, if you're listening live, make sure to look in the chat for a keyword, um, uh, because as in every week, uh, sorry, this week and every week, we'll be giving away a legendary bundle of content from D and D beyond. So make sure to check out for that, uh, keyword, enter the raffle, uh, must be present to win. So make sure you stick around for the entire show, um, and get, get, get a hand on that free D and D beyond loot. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood, W-Y-R, W-Y-R-M Wood uh, at wormwoodgaming.com. And you can use the code RIVALS uh, for free domestic shipping uh, there. They make wonderful, wonderful stuff. So make sure to check check them out. Um, we also have dice that were sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Uh, check them out at dieharddice.com as like Masood is showing them off with the masood show off face where is oh like ooh, that's uh, naturally i just say uh, ooh, <laughs> th 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 that kind of thing <laughs> um and use the code rivals for 10 percent off of your dice order there um if you want some geeky gear around your house we got mugs shirts uh posters masks all kind of cool stuff make sure to check out storm crow um at shop.stormcrow.com they got a whole bunch of awesome stuff that you can get and you can use the code RIVALS for 15% off of your purchase there. Um, if you want some cool stuff, including Masood's uh, 
Well, everything with Sue's owns, I think. Yeah, I, 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 at, all of my possessions point. are now on the uh, backlisted pages of the Stormcore website. It was yes. first the mug, and now it's everything that I possess, uh, mainly because I've been trying to grow my Twitter numbers, and I really think this like hidden system of creating community is uh, the best way to go about it. It's new. It's innovative. And Stormcrow, surprisingly, uh, actually unsurprisingly, they were not approving of this program. They were not a proud, uh, like, partner in its design but eventually we got them there i don't know i, I feel like the new owner of twitter might approve of that program yeah so yeah, yeah. i really i got i got there that uh, they'd there be interested in uh <laughs> and uh if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the rivals crew check out blue microphones uh crew.bluemic.com slash rivals if you make your purchases at that link we will get credit and uh you know help help them out to help us out uh that's how we're able to I like everyone adjusted their mics at that moment, which is great. Um, to uh, to make sure that um, we can have some great sounding shows. Um, and y'all, as usual, we are partnered by Idol Idol Champions, but it's super exciting. I mean, we just talked about adding Kent to the game, and now uh, they have released the uh, Champion Spotlight post and all that for Virgil. You know, uh, uh, with. Uh, electric fan in hand yeah. uh uh on the art there um so uh yeah so like virgil is coming co co coming to, come to the game soon so all the rivals will be there which is awesome so make sure to check out sorry to type in exclamation point code in the chat if you're listening live for this week's free electrum chest so you can get some uh gear and make sure to put as many rivals in your formation as possible because mm -hmm. you do get some bonuses um and we're all there so make sure to check Some them pretty out. sick bonuses too i know like uh gazrick's gold find increases based on how many got like rivals are in the group i know i think the i think the shaka celestial puzzle like effectiveness increase yeah i think yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like the bonus that you get mm -hmm. goes up yeah um yeah so yeah every, every, everybody has some cool stuff that goes up so make sure to check that out super excited for mm -hmm. that um and um in addition to all the all the rivals you can also get disco pest and fen as familiars as well so make sure to add them for your for your clickety clickities there um yeah i don't know that that's the official name for it and that's really yes. yeah exactly they just click <laughs> just click really fast um and we're also sponsored by voice mod um i don't know if we have a voice mod voice mod We have Roger Troutman here. Uh, <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Go to voicemart. Oh, oh, God, I got to stop listening. Go to voicemart.net and check out that. Uh, we're very happy to be partnered with them. Uh, some really fun opportunities that you can use uh, in TTRPG games, in streams, when you're talking to your friends and want to freak them out. Whatever! Voicemod.net. Uh, check it out. You can get a free version to give it a try. And if you want to get the pro license, you can use code RIVALS for a little bit of a discount. Yeah, we should check out Voicemod because they have a whole bunch of selections of uh, different effects through voice. Pretty cool stuff. Um, also, with that, we're done with the ad reads. I love that Latia literally jumped. <laughs> I wasn't when, ready. <laughs> are any of us truly ready for voice mod, though? No. <laughs> See, you don't have to get ready if you stay ready, and I know he's going to do some ridiculous <laughs> yeah. stuff every well, time. I was, every time. I was okay. expecting the voice from last time, right? And no. it wasn't. Oh, yeah. So I'll change wow. it up. I almost used the like reception cutting out one that I used in Motherlands on Wednesday, but then I realized <laughs> that would be a terrible <laughs> one for an ad read. <laughs> I don't know. People would have to really pay attention then. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, but our our favorite murder burb is back with us, and I believe you are now taking back your your chapeau as whoosh captain. I mean, I don't have to. I mean, yes, you do. You, I had. Oh, yeah, you I do. Do. But you, yeah, had you really. You had such a really good hat the first week I was gone. It was... <laughs> it's still here. I'm listen. I'm ready for if it needs. I need it. But you're back, so. <laughs> I am back. I'm glad to be back. Um, thank mm. you all for taking over the whooshes for me. They were uh, excellent. Ten out of ten, no notes. Um, but yeah, let's let's do this. I'm ready because I didn't. I was holding my phone the first week, so <laughs> I didn't actually get to whoosh. I was just watching the whoosh, so I haven't whooshed in two weeks. 
two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Don't hurt. Don't strain yourself. Make sure you're. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not, I'm not not going to hurt myself. Yeah, I don't want All you right. to pull anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. <laughs> also, because we uh, didn't say it, go to our Indiegogo. Go to our Indiegogo. Support us for our future season. Yeah, whoosh, you should know. also <laughs> whoosh right to our Indiegogo. <laughs> Yeah, the whoosh is like actually like a URL. Like it links. <laughs> oh, that would be great. It's like an what audio QR, it's like an audio QR code that sends you to our Indiegogo <laughs> exactly. after I you type that. go go in chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So somebody tell us what happened last week. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was here. I know what happened. But I wanted to <laughs> Tanya, what happened last week? <laughs> yeah. so you volunteered. I did not. Well, you actually. think you didn't, but the rest of us do. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, okay. I can start off. That. Yeah, no, I, I can, I can start it. Oh, yeah, right. let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, no, no, let's no, we we'll do it together. Uh, and then, uh, thankfully, like how we usually do previous ones, Tyler and you will be kind enough to remember any important things that we forget. <laughs> uh, well, but we'll see. Uh, um, so we started last week's episode after having um, gone through the captain's quarters and and pilfered some goods um, and uh, ledgers that we could not understand for the life of us uh unfortunately tahani uh was still in their uh cell asleep uh and hadn't uh escaped with the rest of us uh they weren't actually in the same block as the others of us so we didn't quite know where tahani was um kent upon hearing the voice of the captain call out to us shifted into their uh ghost form and dissipated to sort of do a uh secret support from the sideline keeping an eye on us oh my goodness you any no, i wasn't See, i tell it. you <laughs> this is you so gotta good. stay ready you gotta uh, stay ready because the podcast gotta folks, stay ready. Yuhani has disappeared uh <laughs> they are they are gone um uh, but uh, so uh kent uh, dissipates into the uh walls to keep an eye on us from a safe distance as how we are then approached by the captain of this vessel um and their first mate um that's right yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah the, um they approached us and uh you know we were trying to uh figure out what was going on um shaka decided to take the lead and try to uh sort of uh negotiate with the uh with the captain trying to say that you know like that either first with the money like we could give you more money than this person's offering right. uh then was um trying to say that you know that like you're not really into this like like uh like a, you know like uh if you drop us off we could help you out with some right. maybe battles that you have so like we were trying different different deals uh none of which were really successful i didn't roll that badly but they just weren't that success that successful mm -hmm. um so the we DCs, did end up yeah. um in combat um though it was they threatened to honey to yes. Be fair. Oh, yeah. Yes. They threatened to hunt, yeah. and the moment that that occurred, True. was like, okay. Yeah, and uh, but it Did went. They actually... know me? Come on, <laughs> Do you know me, right? Um, <laughs> it 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 went better than I thought, though, because mm -hmm. uh, I believe it was Virgil that cast mass suggestion on all the other people that were waiting. So it was really just the captain that was available to fight, because even the first mate. Uh, with those ears that uh can't love so much um you know oh God, even, he's the even... first mate oh, oh yeah this, these are the things yeah that the, yeah, 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 yeah the, the yeah. gift is the first mate and and they honestly like they started the aggression like the first mate kind of came over admittedly his ears gosrick had a fantastically bad roll on trying to look it... threatening and, and <laughs> cut through the cut through the ship deck my bro I, so it, oh, that's right. I, we that's weren't even gonna right. fight we weren't even gonna we, the moment they sent to honey it was like okay we're out of here we're fighting to honey we're not even gonna engage like we're just gonna run i i i cast flame blade flame a uh, flaming blade appears in my hand i roll to attack the floor underneath me just to, it's it's a low dc it's a floor it's the wood, floor right i get a one uh and uh which i really don't think anyone pendulum swings as hard as i do on this show <laughs> and i thank you for the TNT beyond thank you because it gives us great narrative moments uh because then we were forced into combat uh because we like 
Um, thankfully, Virgil cast the mass suggestion, and it was just the captain coming at us, who was pretty intense. Um, we honestly didn't even lash out at them at first. They you know, we right right like they're they're basically they came at us and they did you know Virgil took a hit, um, and that is as Virgil's reaction that actually caused damage to the captain, but um we were up to a certain point we were casting and i i think somebody in chat said this like we were basically using passive aggressive magic like we were <laughs> restraining we yeah. were we were blocking put, put we were holding we wall. were confusing yeah. all of the we tried everything we could to basically get to the stand down moment yeah. and the captain refused to stand down um repeatedly continually attacking us and it was like you know we really had exhausted all we had exhausted all like non-fighting options and then shaka uh shaka cast a spell because you know you can only take so much mm -hmm. yeah and, uh, yeah sharif what, what, were, what were what were the um effects of that spell yeah so like at this level i have four four eldritch blast beams beams uh, not beans, but that, 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 that I love the idea you just throw a bean uh, at someone. Like, and it's, it, yeah. like, it does the Eldritch Bass damage. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I, 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 just, I, just throw, I just throw some kidney beans. This is LARPing now. Uh, this is the LARP oh, version. Yeah, it was last. <laughs> now you have to bring uh, kidney beans to pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, three of them hit, and uh, <gasps> the captain went down. Uh, oh, <laughs> and Shaka was kind of like, oops. Because yep. I don't know, he he wasn't expecting that to be a a final blow. Um, <laughs> so you, not even you unconscious, not even not even uncon dead. They were yeah, dead, dead. dead, straight up dead. dead yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so it was a oops because Shock was also thinking like, wait, we, we're trying to get like information on where we are on how to <laughs> get back, and then Shaka tried to turn to the rest of the people and basically do like a i'm the captain now kind of uh, <laughs> yeah. and they were like yeah, well no okay that that did not work um uh so essentially to get i believe it was to get on the first mate's uh good side but to but to make sure that we can find out where we are we ended up bringing the captain uh back to life oh uh, i will say yeah. if you missed it um we can do that Masood's description of of Gazer casting the spell was actually really really nice. So yeah, like cool. definitely go back and catch that because it was really cool. Fun. Sometimes tasteful. Sometimes tasteful. <laughs> this guy. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, no, it was fun. And um, describing that and sort of like putting that in play, um, it was also interesting for us because afterwards this guy's uh, the captain's back alive, whose name we haven't got. Because nobody asked for it, no one specifically asked for what, we just the captain. captain, um, the first mate. It's not first mate. None, of, none of us got to the point of like they knew ever, all our when names. Somebody is swinging. Here. When somebody is swinging at you, you don't yeah. stop to ask their name before taking the punch. You're you're absolutely right. Okay, and 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 it should have been maybe in the negotiations. Maybe that's how we went off on the back. But no, no. <laughs> uh, but uh, the we agreed to kind of a truce sort of in space of where we are um we're getting moved out of our cells into bedrooms actual cabins of some kind on the ship um we're still prisoners right like we're still being taken to whoever purchased our ships but like, like our crews uh like our i don't know if you hired them right bounty yeah, hired whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whoever but, put out the bounty. Yeah. That's a great way to you know, put it. Thank you. As yeah. as we tried to basically do during the negotiation, like whoever hired you to do this, like make it their make us their problem, not your problem. So I think that we are just expediating that process now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Actually, that all feels right. like a solid plan. Yeah. Who are you all? all right. No, I mean, I said I said that, and then Tanya reacted. So I'm like, well, all right, here we go. <laughs> do, I, do we miss anything besides that, Tanya? I feel like uh no that's about it yeah. and uh well let's see basically what everybody hates us the crew hates us the captain hates us and probably actually has even more complex feelings about dying and going beyond the veil and then being yanked back into the land of the living that's mm -hmm. um we've seen buffy 
Uh, oh, Buffy. I, 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 haven't, oh, no. I haven't seen Buffy. I haven't, oh, you I haven't? Oh, no, no, sorry. That's, that's basically everything you just said. Like, died, pulled, died, gone beyond the veil, pulled back, dragging and screaming. <laughs> I didn't say uh. who. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. This is yeah and, uh, in our defense, if they're mad at us, they did kidnap us. They did kidnap us. They did, uh, but you killed their captain in front of them. And brought them back to life? And we, the what thing is, like, we, and we could, you know, I'm happy to go over this in game, in character, but like, they started it. They knew who they kidnapped. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> I know that. I you love know it. that. I, I love it. The, also, the, the nicest thing that we have is that we currently have like, 23 hour 23 and a half hours left on this mass suggestion where no one can be none of the crew can be directly violent to us you say that like i'm picking up exactly where you left off that's that i'm just telling them what happened previously on just what happened previously on i should say as the loose dictates yeah that's right um all right i think that is everything that happened last week are you ready for this week's shenaniganry yeah let's go let's go all right. Um, so it has actually been a while. All of you were begrudgingly brought to new cabins. Not the most spacious things, not lavish or anything, nothing like a nice guest, because basically you are now a problem. But through the power of best suggestion, they can't do anything about it. Oh, for another six hours. Because it's been a while. You had to get moved out of your cells. And, um what they brought our luggage somewhere like they didn't like <laughs> did it take us that long to march we'll us up like, the like, mm -hmm. okay. well i mean you you got you got you got settled you got shown you got shown to these spaces and you know everyone has rested anyone who got hurt yeah, and so has all their now back. Spouse cool. spouse. um and the way you've been kind of bunked out is that dahani has her own room obviously kent and virgil are together and they've got fenris and then Gosric and Shaka are together, unless you think you will murder each other. And <laughs> you could each have a room, but it'd be a much smaller room. Oh, no, we'll, we'll get it going. Are there bunk beds? Oh. <laughs> Wait, can so, yeah, I the, have bunk beds? Is it like bunk beds or a burden or any kind of situation? Like, <laughs> I, would, I would like to bunk with Gosric if possible. Oh. We get mixed up, and Shaka and and Gosric get the Bert and Ernie, and you and I have the bunks. <laughs> no, unless you want everyone to have bunk beds. Body I mean, system, it's a ship, right? It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a ship. I think bunks. Are, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it's reason. a ship, but I, I mean, I wasn't going to, but now that you said that the community. We aren't value. expecting a lap of luxury. We aren't. Yeah. Expecting Listen, luxury. I liked my bunk when I worked on ships, mm -hmm. except yeah, for the one know, time but... I fell out of it. But other than that, I liked it up there. <laughs> Mm. Can it be hammocks? I'd love to be two swinging oh, no. hammocks. No, 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 that is not safe. Hammocks aren't safe on a ship. No, we're not doing that. Uh, no. what, 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 what waters? What choppy space is there? Well, well that's turbulence a... is a thing. Actual space turbulence. Turbulence. Sturbulence. Space. Sturbulence. Yeah, it's turbulence. <laughs> sturbulence. Just for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I almost said your actual name, not your character name. Uh, Gosric and Shaka, give me deck saves. <laughs> Oh, hey. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's see. A deck saving throw. It's a plus zero. We love that. 16. 16! Hey, hey, look, okay. at the, look at the boys. <laughs> All right. You managed not to fall out of your bunks. Yeah. As there is a loud knock on your door. Um, Who took which bunk? <laughs> oh, Godric's on the low bunk for sure. Okay. Are you I'm... sure about that? I'm a uh, pot. Gosrick is not taking a high bunk. No cool way. With that. Yeah. All right. Cool with that. I think he, he probably uh, literally insists. No, I, and I, I prefer the low bunk. It would be such thing about the if I fall, that's like three times my height that I go down. Okay. You, it's less so the, the gravity doesn't affect you as much before you hit the ground. I'm traveling more meters per second. Gosrick, we need to talk about your relationship to science. Yeah, I, think it, I think that checks out, right? No. That no. does not check out. No, that okay. does not check out. No. Uh, okay. no. Well, well, terminal well. velocity at a half <laughs> foot into the air. It's okay. Wow. It's All okay. right. So uh the loud knock yeah. is um is a, is a boat swain with with a, a tray. So y'all are being fed. It's like later in the morning, you all are being brought trays. Um it, 
so while you two are, are being, I almost said being fed, that's weird. Your, your food is dropped off. Uh, I actually want to see what Kent and Virgil are up to because Kent, you probably want to tell <laughs> Virgil all that happened while you were a ghosty. Uh, yeah, so it's this sort of, uh, you know, we've we've had a little bit of a rest and find them like, so I think you and I really need to catch up on current events because I went down and it was like, listen, this ship is wild from the inside. This ship is bananas. There was like three heads. That means bathroom, I learned. One of the crew said that. Um, and I, anyway, that's not the point. I got, I found Dahani eventually, and I was walking up to to help, you know, to get her out and bring her back up so we could take over. And then the, the, the door just opened. And I assumed that I had something to do with you all upstairs. Uh, but I don't, so we, you know, sort of walked up and then came and there was, you know, a, a dead, not dead anymore. And um, it seems like you all had a much more eventful night than than Dahani and I. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that you're okay. And oh. I'm glad you got to honey out all right. Um, as, as Kent has been saying this, Virgil's, like, his entire mood and demeanor have simply not been happy and not been okay, like, <laughs> since it happened. And it's just, like, you know, the first thing he tells Kent after, like, I'm sure, like, after Kent heard, there was a big shocked face. And he just says, yeah. we, tried, we, we tried to talk it out. You know, I we tried to talk and they would not listen. So we had no choice. Um, and and yeah, we are unfortunately no closer to finding out anything about why we're here or who wants us here. We know that this crew doesn't want us here anymore, so we're just hoping that they'll take us wherever we need to be. Uh, I mean, history shows us we are very good at not fighting when we don't want to. So whatever this crew is being offered for us must be... Um, I mean, you all offered them money, right? We have that dragon horde. So if that we didn't did, convince they, them, they said that there were. Uh, they they said that that didn't impress them. Um, to to borrow from the the poetess Shania, that didn't <laughs> impress them much. And love her. love her. Um, and even when when talked about, you know, Gosrick offered them dragon scale, and there was again no blinking. And Ooh. and uh. I guess a DM question, have they made it? Like, have we heard anything else that basically talks about like any idle, any idle chatter about that talks about how much they know about us from the files, like the crew? Um, you, you may have heard the captain muttering a bit as her first mate helped her away from you all about how this job wasn't worth it. It's not about the money. At this point, she just, she started to say she just kind of wants you off her ship. But now the fact that well, you have, you know, killed her and brought her back. Now it's personal. She wasn't personal before. No, it was simply it was a job. To us, uh, <laughs> you, you need to go back and watch that fight because that, <laughs> okay. uh, that fight it, felt personal. <laughs> it it um, wasn't but personal yeah, okay. until until basically when she saw. So it quit kind of out of character. Once she saw that you all had kind of basically not turned the crew against her, but knew that the crew wouldn't act. And she's also a Gith Yankee, so her pride was not going to let her just walk away from a fight. Uh, I mean, so we've only confirmed that like Gith Yankee are a real thing now. So okay, sure. Um, <laughs> well, that's out of character. Like, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no. So yeah, Virgil basically is is kind of relating, and they know they know about us. Um, oh, the captain. The captain implied that, and we found. You know, we we found that file. And even though we only understood the name, someone's given them a lot of information about us. And then right. Virgil does fix Kent with a gaze to say, I don't know how much, like, I don't know if they know about, like, the incident that far back. But it's like, they know a lot about us. Uh, we're in space. Kent had not even considered the incident being involved here. Uh, so that's a rare moment of silence from our tiefling rogue. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, shit. Uh, so do, have they said how long until we get there? I mean, okay, let's back up. So we're here now. 
they've given us <laughs> this lovely accommodation. And they're taking us somewhere. Do we know how long until we get there? No, they've they are unsurprisingly tight-lipped now. Huh. What? I don't... Uh, I mean, we. The, the problem is this isn't like we got taken to Thay or taken to, you know, Chult, and we could eventually walk our asses home. So I think we just have to go along with it for now? and be ready to make our escape once we have an idea of how to do that. But did you all find any way, any information about how we can get home eventually? No. Uh, we really haven't even had time to stop and think about that. Okay. 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 We're all back together. And not immediately going to be in danger from this crew, I don't think. And uh, this isn't how I wanted to bring you back on a ship. Yeah, this is not the experience that I wanted either. All right. All right. Well, should we check on the others and see? I, I don't even know see what at this point. Hmm. You know, we should basically find out what the situation is, and if they are dedicated to ferrying us to where we where they want to drop us off, then I would hope that we can make as little trouble as possible until we're there. Sure. And maybe find out where that is in the meantime. Yes, maybe then decide to kill whoever wants us here. Oh, that, that feels like a definite. I am excited about that part. Mm-hmm. And on that cheerful note, let's see what the honey's up to. <laughs> hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> hi, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing before you were uh, given this room is you kind of came around to to Kent appearing kind of ghostly in this cell block where you're finally waking from whatever they gave you to keep you kind of sleepy and subdued because, again, they know who they captured. So um, what happened when... You woke up to basically your your shadow tiefling rogue kind of there. My reputation, uh, untrue as it is, precedes me. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I think I just I woke up and I was like figuring out how I was going to get out of the room until Kent showed up, and then it basically goes the way Kent says it does. <laughs> There's a chance that Kent didn't tell Dahani that he didn't, that he wasn't the one who opened the cell door. <laughs> There's a chance that he did not comment on it and allowed Dahani to believe whatever Dahani would like to believe about that moment. Uh, I don't think she had enough time to really get the gist of what was going on. Sure. Like, we were on a show, like, we, we went to sleep and then like we woke up on this ship and Dahani probably thought she was still dreaming. So she went back to sleep um, to wake up and find nobody there, an empty room. And wait a minute, I'm actually like, she pinches herself a couple of times and it's like, oh no, I'm, this is, what is this? Knock, knock, knock on the walls. And then like suddenly knock, knock, knock. And then Kent comes through it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> exactly what happened. Yes. Um. And then we talk about the situation and then the door opens and then it's just like. Well. And now we should go rejoin them, which is the thing that I knew we would do next. <laughs> Was what I said when the door opened to you. Flashbacks are so simple. It's they simple. are. They're so extremely simple. simple. <laughs> All right. So Dahani rolled a 23 on that insight check. Um, uh, I mean, I could try, wait. but I don't think he's trying that hard so yeah you know <laughs> yeah but I oh, did saying. you insight on kent yeah just to, just to see exactly like the door opens and kent is like yes we will rejoin the rivals as i always knew we would do and so she gives him a little bird side eye and just goes along with it <laughs> yeah i think i think also kent's you know kent's not 
Ken gets it. He knows she knows. But when with the side arm, I'll give it back and be like, mm -hmm, I said what I said. And that's what we're proceeding with. And when there's just this like <laughs> silent understanding that that's passes right. between them. And then right. we just, you know, hand in ghostly hand, we just yeah. ease on down the road. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wow. Uh, you two get a knock on the door and they bring you food. And um, surprisingly, not surprisingly, based on the fact you know these people know everything about you all, you all are also served kind of like not your favorite, favorite food, but something that you would find comforting. So not sure what Dahani would eat that is super comfort food, but tell us what's on your tray. Oh, what is on my tray? Um, or Burb, not you. Yeah, yeah what's on my... <laughs> um, I actually think it's a... And she hasn't had this in a long time because... I don't think she's told anybody how to make it, but it's like a Chilton delicacy Ooh. that is, it's like some sort of like roasted greens that are um, native to Chult and, um, you know, kind of like Lion King style. Like she eats regular food, but there is like the, the, the insect delicacy of Chult or whatever it is. And there's just like, you know, like crickets in like, like honey roasted crickets or something like that in kind of like typical bird jungle fashion and it's just like kind of like set up with like a big old glass of water and this is weird i don't i didn't even tell gazrick how to make these because i know he'd just try it with the ice spiders and that wouldn't be it's gotta be crickets gotta be crickets this is like she takes one and she like inspect like she gives it the bird side eye and it's like looks good Okay, I guess. Do I die? Wow. No. <laughs> I, I'm very Do tempted I to die? say yes. Do I, Do I because die? you asked. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. I mean, okay. she hasn't had these in probably a year and a half to two years. I know. I'm just so, being sick. I know. But I, was I, like, I know. <laughs> what? So yes, like, I, we rescued you just to kill you, sure. Right. No, it's almost too good to be true. Because as she eats them, they taste almost exactly like they did back on Kier Sabal. And it's like, she's almost like flat. Like, it's it's the moment in Ratatouille when, when the critic eats the food and he's transported back to his childhood. And it's like, then it comes back to her and it's like, I'm too hungry to care about this right now. And then she just eats the food. Okay. Um... Gosrick and Shaka, what have you two been served? Um, no, please. I'll say Shaka, um, as a uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this. Um, when we were going to Candle Keep and we could manifest food in our large Michael, large Michael, the large Michael, lar the large Michael, a large Michael esque is not called that, but there's definitely. Um, somehow in that file uh, that they have on all of us, um, they did, um, you know, discover Shaka's love of uh, of, uh, of large Michaels. Um, so there is a large Michael. Um, I can imagine it being uh, in you 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 know how how like in uh, movies or cartoons when they bring like the like the metal thing and there's like one thing under it you know like it's not even a meal it's just like one thing imagine they bring one thing and it's a I'm a fully loaded large Michael I mean it's, um, we're talking you know all the fixings all the works on here you know and um, Doc is very happy with that and he definitely eats it. Uh, Maybe not the most, maybe not the, maybe the messiest way because it's been kind of a stressful uh, time so far. So I think he really digs into this and it's, it's not a pretty sight. Does Shaka make a mess of his nice white robes? Uh, he tries not to, but he's... That's what Prestidigitation's for. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think the robes would ever actually get messed up ever. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they were, if you saw yeah. them messed up, no, you didn't. Like, yeah, it's, it's, if it ever could happen, it would be this time. 
um, uh, any any side dishes, anything like that, or just your your large Michaels? Uh, maybe 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 a small Michael on the side. Yeah, wow, so that's, that's another burger's a side dish. A little slider, you know, yeah, you, know, you know, a little a little slider on the side, maybe. Okay, okay, wimpy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, while well, Shock is definitely enjoying his large Michael and small Michael, um, which sounds so bad out of context. Sorry, audio listeners. <laughs> um, what is Gosrick enjoying? Um, Gosrick shocked when he pulls open the lid and sees uh, two tusks that are filled and stuffed with like meat and veggie, and he like looks at it. And he pulls them up and he, these are mammoth tusks. And this is, oh, it's mammoth tenderloin. Oh, and he starts like, like just spooning it out. And they even got some bone marrow. And it, it's just, it's one of the like things he grew up eating uh, uh, back home on the ice file. Like these are the things that they would do, utilize every portion of the animal as they could. And one of the things that he would always love, if you could get it, just like, the tip of the tusk stuffed with meat um, after being hollowed out. And like, and then you got a little thing that you got to carry and play around with as a kid. You got a little, you got oh, a little thing that all the other kids. God, because I really thought you were eating the tusk. I oh, it was like no. a horn. I think it was like a horn with the, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, yeah. Like, it's a cornucopia. I yeah. see that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, much yeah. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more of a tusk. Tuskacopia, really. Tuskacopia, thank corn you. And, tusk and now a sp- no corn. No a stusk. I don't know what it would call a space tuskacornucopia, but uh, a spanacopita. The spanacopita, there it is, perfect. Uh, directed by Sofia Coppola. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, Gosrick's lost, and also the flashback moment of just like, how? How would they know this? How would they know that, that that I love this? Um, and Fenris somehow has the treats that Sleece would make for him if he was a very good doggo. Cause she the little bit of the softer side of Sleece, she would see her making treats just for Fenris. And they were basically um like chopped up steak with a little bit of roughage so it didn't bother his tummy. And um, it was just like a patty where you're like, okay, somebody basically made doggy croquette treats for for Fenris. Um, So what are you two talking about as you, after you both inhale your food? Um, I give the tusks to Fenris to chew on. Um, And then I uh, turn to Shaka and I'm just like, this is an odd show of form. Waking up kidnapped and then getting served what would be my last dish. Honestly, like this this feels weird. I know we're not on in the executioner's block, but it kind of feels like it. Yeah, I I feel like this was part of their plan, right? Like, they can't just, I doubt they just manifested these, like, recently, right? Yeah. Like, like they had our, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, there might be mammoths, uh, you know. In space? No way, man. No Um, way. You know, but, but, um, yeah, like, uh, my, okay, here's, here's my thought, right? Yeah. They had the files on us. They knew we'd break out of prison. They they knew we would break out of the blocks. Like there weren't even people watching us down there. Well, so I maybe never, the, who who have you told that you like with that eating that? Who I don't even know. Who, I haven't told. I mean, like the rivals know, but that's about it. Um, I mean, they had to. I mean, sure, maybe I'm at the tavern one day. Maybe I was uh, talking about it. Maybe, but um, it's not something that was widely known. Right. So they have some heavy research. Mm-hmm. Um, so my thought is that they knew that we would b- break out, and this is kind of their like um, their like secondary measure of trying to earn our our uh, you know our trust or mm-hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Um, so still not a hundred percent confident that um, we've been welcomed on this ship, but at the same time, I'm hungry, man. No. Um, 
And that was a good meal. That's it smelled good. I did I see here's the thing. I was gonna ask for some, but then I thought you'd want some of mine. And I was like, I kinda just want this for me. And I figured the way that you were going to town on that large Michael, you I'm only so wanted glad it just you said for your that own. because yeah. I wouldn't have right. I wouldn't have shared. Um but I probably should have checked if there was anything in here. Um Oh, I'm immune to poison and like a lot of other stuff, so I wasn't really worried. Well, we're not all immune to everything. Um, I probably should have checked, but at the same time, it's 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 been a while, and I just keep an eye on you. I got you. Okay, I'll make sure you're okay. Um, yeah. Um. Can I uh make an investigation around this room? Like, is it just a general room or something? Sure. Anything? Yeah, I just wanna I wanna see what these surroundings look like. So, uh, yeah. not the twenty seven. You can see through the ship. Um, so the room is, it's just a room. There's nothing nefarious. It's just the door is locked from the outside. You've got your bunk beds, you've got a table, you know, and this is a weird reference, you know, like in the Ikea catalogs where it's like the bunk bed, but then the table's like under the bunk bed that kind of rolls out. Um, kind of like that where you each got your bunk bed. And there's a porthole, but there's just space. There's nothing out there. No, I don't know if anything would be in space floating by. I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah, nothing weird. Okay. It's just a very standard guest room if someone booked passage on this ship. Okay. Okay. So, so like Shaka turns to Gazrik and, 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 and like says, this room look incredibly plain to you like i was thinking maybe this was maybe someone else's room or maybe uh maybe they left i don't know something in here like i i'm i'm just surprised that it looks it literally looks like a like a hotel room and well, this is like a pirate ship yeah i think we have to suspend what we think about pirating in ships because first off, we're not on the water, right? There's, there's, we're on emptiness of the ether, and I still don't even know what exactly we're resting on and what propels us. It, it makes no sense to me based on the elements that I trust and use and assume move our existence uh, around the world that we live in, but we're not in the woods. I think we have to just accept we're in a foreign place. So maybe this sparse Mm -hmm. gully is pretty common for ships in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Um, It's just everything just seems so off to me. Like it's it. Trust me, dude. I it's everything is off, and so we're just we're just on off now. That's just the 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 energy we have to be. We're on off. We're on off. Okay. I uh, processing. Do we think that? <laughs> uh, you think that everyone else got meals like this? You imagine? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I would think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we can try to go out and see. Well, I mean, there's... do you want? Do you want to meet up? Do you want to walk over to Kenton Virgil's? Yeah, yeah. How how long have we been in this room? Have we been in this room for like hours, right? Well, I mean, maybe we both napped, or like probably like took a rest of some kind. You slept. You got a yeah. full eight hours sleep. Right. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get. I, I definitely want to try to leave the room then. Yes. yes. Um. Well, while you're trying to do that, we're gonna actually see what Ken and Virgil got served. Perfect. Looks, um, we serve in looks. What? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. It's a um, mirror gets plated to you. <laughs> we're fine. We're just, we're just fine. Ooh, here. We're fan. Yes. Um, uh, so the food arrived. Was there basically? Did did someone? Was it brought by someone? Was there a note? Remember, so? you had a That's you good. had a we're knock good. at the door first when we okay. when we talked about the view. Oh yeah. We didn't talk about what was on the tray. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. So somebody brought okay. it to us. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Like a knock. That was like that was like three awesome food descriptions ago. I, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Wow. Um, I'm just hungry now. Lunch, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just hungry now, so I apologize for what I'm about to say next. Yeah. Um, what happens is uh, there's a there's a larger 
than usual um, tray given for Kent and Virgil. And um, when it's uncovered, uh, you see like a moment of very of confusion on Virgil's face um, because what it is is it's a dish that he um, specifically like made because of Kent. And it is, um, it's essentially it's service for two. And what it is, is it's, um, there are like two poached eggs sitting on top of puff pastry. And nice. inside of it is, inside of it is a perfectly done steak, but it's a ribeye and it's sort of been pushed together to kind of form a little bit of a heart to it. And, um, you know, like that's sitting on top of a bed of greens and like the, 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 like the, the tomato and olives have been like perfectly spaced around it. And Virgil is like staring at this thing. Like, how is this possible? I thought you said you didn't tell them anything about us when I was down getting to honey. Well, we didn't tell them anything, but they clearly know a lot about us. You didn't tell them about the. I certainly didn't tell them about that. How do they know about it? I don't. I don't it's maybe magic. I don't know. Okay, I don't, we I don't have know to. Works here. We yeah. have to absolutely accept the pot. This is lovely, by the way. Kent is just going down down <laughs> for it. Uh, we're. I don't have any. I don't have any food here on my desk. I was going to talk with my mouth full. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> um. We think we have to start accepting the possibility that they know about the incident. Well, I mean, if anything, that would make them more wary of us than less. So, yeah. How is yours? Mm -hmm. I'm actually a little mad. It's perfect. Okay, it's not perfect. Yours were perfect. Okay, this is like as close at oh, thank you. Yeah. But this is really damn good. Yeah, I know. I mean it absolutely is. It just Virgil looks down, and it's like uh, obviously. <laughs> gone. Oh yeah, absolutely gone. Yeah. Like a little bit of puff pastry with a little bit of like juice just sopping it up and with the last bit. Yeah, we should uh, we should probably eat and join the rest. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how Fenris is gonna handle uh being in Gazak's room after uh yeah. well i can't wait to find out what they were served uh i'm sure yeah. fenris will love it mm -hmm. uh and i i would like to imagine that as we go as we get up and like put our things away and go to open the door once again without me touching it the door opens and ken's like it's just it the ship what is happening <laughs> uh but in fact gosser ken shaka <laughs> just on the other side yeah <laughs> Uh, so what you found, though, is that had you tried these doors a few hours previous or before you went to sleep, they would have been locked. Oh, interesting. But, okay. you know, mm. now that it's it's a few hours later, everyone's been fed and we're we're getting to the tail end of the cruise, uh, having to be nice to you with mass suggestion. Oh, so oh I no! Heard this, the, the I heard C -R -E -W cruise. I heard cruise. I was like, oh. like dang it! Yeah. I was like a cruise. Okay, <laughs> okay, same. No. We're on a ship. <laughs> it's a cruise. I was like, I have some feedback for the cruise director. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I was like, now the boring room makes sense. Like, <laughs> wow, wow. No, it is not. It is not. You are not on a luxury cruise. You are on a uh -huh. pirate ship. Let's uh -huh. remember that. Uh huh. Um, but. One of the crew, I don't know which one, but one of them basically, and when everyone was brought their food, they didn't lock the door. Hmm. So you are free. Okay, okay. You are now free to move about the cabin. <laughs> so where would y'all like to converge? Um, I mean, once Kent uh, <laughs> has gotten over the automatic doors on this ship, <laughs> uh, I mean, it seems safest to, to gather in one of our cabins right like uh, yeah and actually you and virgil probably have the biggest one because you unlike uh gosrick and shaka you have an actual like bed for two adults so your room is is bigger 
My experience what? on these ships is too very small adults. I'm yeah. gonna say, yeah, like there, <laughs> there was there was definitely some like some shrimping going on yeah. in the yeah. Like, <laughs> Look, it's I I'm the DM. I said this bed is big enough. Oh, you there you go. You're right. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, since they're since they're there anyway, uh, we can go and see how Dahani's doing with breakfast, and then just gather in there. Uh, Dahani, how are you doing? With breakfast? Have you finished? Are you going to try to find anyone? Uh, no, I have finished. Um, I think once I'm finished, I hear move. Like, I do I hear anything like out in the hall? Like, do I hear other oh, doors open? Okay, cool. Yeah, not the rivals are not quiet by any. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just making sure um no when i start to hear uh people out in the hallway i will poke my head out of the door and i'll see um gazrick and shaka outside of captain virgil's room and then i'll just be like all right so hello i'm are... here now yay all right so you all have gathered in uh captain virgil's room uh and Venerous basically like sniffs around your platter, Ken and Virgil, and kind of gives you this sad look like, wow, there was clearly red meat here and you gave me nothing. Mm -hmm. Listen, you got a little mastodon <laughs> tusk. You're fine. I was going to say, who gave, gave him that? that? <laughs> who gave, oh, no, I was like, who gave him that? I oh. did. What? He can't have the oh, little tongue. He still walk around with one in his mouth. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, he finished one already. It's just it's just the edge of one. Uh -huh. It's not the. I didn't give him a full tusk. It was just uh -huh. really like a, you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Why? We're gonna, What's we're wrong? Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna talk later about this, Gosford. Okay. So I need I, to know. Uh, maybe we'll discuss the training rules. <laughs> That's I right. See. Be begging. We've been working on the begging. <laughs> no. Gotcha. Okay. He's Sounds in like... space. Give him. Cut him some slack. Kent, Kent says while finding a tiny little morsel of meat left over and dropping it on the floor without virtual <laughs> seeing. <laughs> Wow. That I expect so. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> that, and, has uh, been, that has been calculated for. Gotcha. Uh, then, that's right. And then Fenris just literally puts his head in your lap, Ken, mm. and starts giving you puppy eyes like mm. more. No, no, no. That's all. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you're cute and I feed you, but that's enough. That's, you get what you get. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the rivals are now reunited. Um, so everyone got a really good meal, right? Because, yeah. like, an it, it individual meal. Yeah, it feels very last mealy. Right? Yeah. Right? Oh. But it was very I good. It was I delicious. Think about it like that. <laughs> well, oh, sorry, did I ruin it for you, Dahani? Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, they can try. <laughs> well, that's a fair oh, point. They did. It hasn't gone great for them so far as I can tell. Right. Yeah, I, I, I felt like maybe they were trying to show off. Maybe oh, how much they oh. know about us or how advanced they are. I'm not sure, but. Oh, interesting. After what yeah, happened, I think that's a good it, idea. it wouldn't be wise for them to threaten us again. But I don't know. And. Oh, um, we murdered the captain uh, because they threatened your life. And then um, I brought them back to life with uh, a very expensive spell. And I don't know who, I, I guess I'm not going to get reimbursed by the rivals oh, for like the 25000 that it cost. But I, I'll 25000 What spell Wait, did you cast? On, you true, true Resurrection costs yeah, that's the big a diamond, diamond valued at 25,000 gold pieces. I thought if we're revivified her booty, not true <laughs> resurrection. I don't have a revivify. I've got a ninth level true resurrection. That's all I can do. It was, it was way cooler, yeah. trust me. Yeah, cool. no, right. I'm sure it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gazrick, I don't I just mean hope to. Gazrick, no, I just no, hope no, Gazrick the receipt because we're going to need that for right. when we get wow. for accounting later on. It's somewhere, fine. Right. Um, somewhere you feel a frown and, uh, and disapproval from Sleaze when you say, oh, it's just for Vivify. Oh, um, I love it. Uh, oh. How is it that y'all do all the murder, but I'm the one who's called the murderer? I don't really understand why we're using the word murder. It was self-defense. Self they attacked us. Sure. And we did as much as we could to avoid fighting back until we were left with no choice. Okay. Uh, you and I missed all the... Hmm. Let's pick our words carefully. Action? Uh-huh. I'm but... sure. I'm sure had you both been there, it probably would have been handled with and um, looks to Kent a lot more style. Uh, well, and looks at Dahani yeah. a lot faster. <laughs> True. 
Okay, so we've been captured, we've been put on a ship, we've been fed really delicious meals from our pasts, and now we are free to walk about what is happening. What did what did we do next? Well, well, we don't know where we're headed, right? Do, uh, do we? We do not you, know where. Are we're you headed. asking me? No, no we don't, no, we're, we we're don't know anything. Okay. No, we don't know anything. No, okay. uh, I mean, we tried to look through their files, but it was like a language we couldn't really pick up. Right. Um, oh. We saw our, but we saw our names, and we saw that there was a lot of information on them. Is that just? Is that read or just spoken to Honey? <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm, I, I was. I was wondering the same thing, and I was like, "Wow, the group think. The group think." Yeah. Um, no, it's I just mean, spoken. Ugh. Can I'm you read this that. aloud for us? <laughs> um, I, as much as I'm sure she, no, hates. I'm sure she hates us. Mm -hmm. The captain is the one with the information that we need, whether it's about why we're here or where we're going. I mean, I guess the question is, do we try to put a stop to this before we get where we're going and figure out a way home? Or are we resigned to getting where we're going so we can find out who's behind all of this to make sure it doesn't happen to us again? As I gave the options, I realized that it sounds like I've already voted, but how about the rest of you? <laughs> well, I don't, does anyone, do any of us know how to fly this thing? Because that, yeah, exactly. I, I'm I mean, all for I could the... figure it out, right? Appearance, I mean, it, it we could... appearance is notwithstanding, I've never seen anything like this before. Right. We are, it you... feels familiar, but I really don't know why. Have we I found a hell? Oh, that, sorry, guys. That... No, I was going to say, I, we all saw you on the deck of the ship. Yeah, we okay? did. Yeah, you got this. If we need a captain at sea, we know who can guide the a captain in space. We know who can guide us. So I, right I'm right still getting the first one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not the second one, though? Why not well, the well, second one? Okay, but have we even found a there was no, driving there was, wheel? There was no wheel. There was no, you know, I didn't see rudders. No, we, I don't. Yeah, we, oh, you have we, found we've not found a control room. room of any. Yeah, I found for aside from a mast and, okay. and sails, I think the similarities are done. Yeah. Well, that's enough. And we right? have a cr and we we have a fully experienced okay. crew that also hates us. That also hates us. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> no, we can't rely on them. All right. So okay. just just quickly out of character, if you somehow took over the ship. It requires about 20 people. Yeah. And there are five of you plus vendors. Cool. We're we're aware of Let me number. get uh, my ice methods up. <laughs> <laughs> now I would absolutely watch a ship captained by ice methods. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be clear. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's I mean, I'm perfectly fine with not taking over the ship because I want to know who knows about breakfast. No, <laughs> I think that's worth questioning because I mean my meal, I I really I've never even made it for you all. I've never had the right ingredients, the right things. Like the, the frost fell mammoth is so particular that what? this like like the like it is a rare ingredient. And for them to have it is I want more answers. And I don't think I can get them. It's nice to know that if we needed to get mastered on, ah, okay. we uh, no, no, we could. We, like, we would, we'd figure it out. We did, we'd, we'd figure it out, right? That's what we do. We'd figure it out. Sure, sure. But, but we don't have to resort to it, right? All right. So, what would you all like to do? Um, if we go outside, are there like other crew members like walking about, or is it oh, like yeah. just us? Are we, yeah, are we guarded at all, or? Uh, no, because remember, mass suggestion is still going. That doesn't. No, ah. I mean, that doesn't mean that we're not still under guard. Oh, you are, but it's not visible. There are guards around. Okay, so we don't. See, so we it's don't not see like them. anyone like outside your door. Like, okay. okay. Got okay. it. I guess in the room. room. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. Got it. So there's no right. one to chat to to. Um, you could stick your head out and see, and I can roll. 
I mean, or you could look for someone to talk to. So that's that's the thing. We you all have said nobody on this ship likes us. So I don't know how well, much. Well, well, they, they don't have to oh. like us to help us though. Also, nobody on the ship likes y'all. Yeah, they haven't gotten the chance to meet the honey. So, <laughs> or, or or Kent or, or Kent. Kent yeah. Missing. Oh, that's also true. So why don't we go talk to people? I think that's a smashing idea. Give it a try. In the event that they don't want to tell us anything, we could just keep our eyes and ears very open. Um, we have ways to get into places and listen to conversations. Yep. Uh, Actually, the two of us are quite unique. Yeah, as Ken <laughs> says, and he starts to realize exactly that. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, so either way. <laughs> yeah, cool. Neat. I guess we could try being, yeah. you know, well, direct I mean, first. <laughs> they're probably, they're probably going to be more receptive to your faces than ours right now. Sure. So yes. And if they're not, plan. uh, you know, we turn invisible and just listen to their conversations. Mm -hmm. I like this All idea. right. Uh, so we, I was still with you all when we found the like a dining room or something. And then also the captain's quarters, right? Those okay. were the two rooms that we found first. Okay. So I was still with you for that. Do we, and we don't know where the helm is. You do remember you were on the top deck. All right. Well, no, then we you're should correct. You're, you're correct. Actually. I take that back. Okay. Delay that. Uh, I mean, I guess we should just go up there then and sort of see what's about and who's about. Okay. Okay. Well, you um, have, you need to lead the way. Oh yeah, onward! Right, I'm, I'm sending you the map. <gasps> a map. <gasps> we love a map. Oh, so yes. on the main deck is where you're going. I think so. Yeah, just right now, right. just outside on the deck to see who's around and what the hustle and bustle is, and then we'll mm -hmm. figure out where we want to go from there. All right, uh, I'm going to roll a couple of d20s and see who is on the deck. Okay. Ooh, you're, oh, wow. I'm glad that wasn't an actual role for anything, because I would have failed. Um, <laughs> so you see a few swabbies roaming around. Sure. And uh, if you look up and straight forward over the, the brow, the bow, mm -hmm. the front of the ship, mm -hmm. uh, you do see, unfortunately for you, Kent, the gift. Uh! <laughs> do you make that noise out loud? Um... <laughs> God, maybe. Hold on, let me roll. <laughs> I was like, because that will get everyone's attention. Um, nah, it's a nineteen. I keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you see the gif, and the gif is just kind of standing there. You know, from mm. what you know, being on on ships that go in the water, there's no there's no steering wheel. There's nothing. He seems to be just kind of on the deck, but there's nothing really making the ship go that you can see, at least from where you are. Honey. Um, and there's a couple people doing daily wanna. ship maintenance. So you could talk to the swabbies, but you know, they probably don't know much because they're just swabbies. Um, and there's a couple people like they're kind of lashing things to the deck and making sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And you know, you can breathe even though you're on the top of the ship. So there's some force field going. Honey, I hate it here. I don't want to talk to him. Why? I hate, I hate this. But look at his ears. They're so little. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess in proportion to the rest of his body. I, you want me to talk? Do you want me to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just maybe you know what? I'm just gonna go over here and be very nonchalant, because I'm very good at that. And just listen to the Swabby's conversation. I'll but I'll I'll be on the deck. I'll be able to see you. Uh, you know, if anything. Not okay. that you can't take care what, of yourself much faster what, than I can, Lord knows. What am I asking him? Oh, them? well, I think... I don't think there's any real chance of us getting control of the ship and going home now. Mm -hmm. So I think we just need to find out more about where we're headed. Whether okay. it's who we're headed towards or where we're headed or how long it's going to take to get there. Anything to help us get ready for that. Okay. I'll do that then. Yeah. 
Uh, and I will go my, do my best to be nonchalant and sit somewhere where I can hear, you know, if there's a couple of swabbies just chatting, um, just to hear the scuttlebutt. We love some scuttlebutt. Mm-hmm. How tall is this gif? Oh, no. Imagine a hippo on two legs. <laughs> so big. Okay, so I, I do have to float up to his face. Hopefully <laughs> uh, so you know. walk up first before you just start clapping. <laughs> <happening. laughs> I want you to clap. You please. can do both. You can travel <laughs> a three dimensional plane just to oh, no. start walking and then flapping up. Absolutely. What I do is like the equivalent of like a small child. I like walk up to his side and then I like tug on his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> That's so charming. And you see, he turns and he kind of looks down. Oh, you must have been fed. Yeah, where? How did you get the crickets? That was really good. I'm not the chef. Don't ask me. Oh, okay. Um, can I ask you a question? I guess. So glad we sent to Honey for this. Where are we going? <laughs> that is classified. No one's captain knows. Oh. Hmm. Is there any way it can be unclassified? No. Are you sure? And he like snarls, and you've seen what hippos look like. Yeah. When they open their mouth like they're about to eat something. Yeah. Imagine those kind of tusks bared at you in a snarl, and you are a wee burb. I am a wee burb, and he is a large hippopotamus, but there are zombie Tyrannosaurus Rexes on Chult. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. But that but that zombie Tyrannosaurus Rex ain't here right now, and this hippo that, is. That's true. I'm just saying, I've seen things bigger than him. All right. Something. Uh <laughs> Yeah. So okay. little. Well then, is there anything that you like can tell us? Because we're really confused in there and we would like to be less confused. He just kind of snorts. Well, there's plenty I could tell you. Oh. Have you ever had your portrait drawn? Why would I need that? I'm a pirate. Yeah, but like you cut such a fantastic figure standing up here all regal on the ship and whatnot oh my in your god. uniform. Oh you... my gosh. No, you've got to do a persuasion check on that. I will. <laughs> I absolutely will. Oh, I have no idea what this man is wearing. We're gonna find if hippos can blush. They were gonna find out in that moment. <laughs> All right, it's no longer a minus two. Now it's a minus one. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Why didn't I cast enhance ability before it. you all left? Why didn't I do that? What did you get? I had a six. Oh no. She's like, ge- like she's actually genuine about it. It's just not. She's just bad at talking. But like, she starts to kind of like float up around him and just kind of like get a good look at his outfit. I'm like, seriously, you look really good. I think you'd make like, I could draw you like right now. And he just kind of looks at you. He tilts his head. Who let you out of your rooms? The doors were open. Hmm. I'll have to work on that. Look, I'm not telling you anything. You all have done damage, and I know that your buddy cast a spell on our crew. So that is the only thing from keeping me from making you a snack. I am unaware of literally anything that happened. I just want to know stuff. Well, you're just going to not know anything if you're asking me. All right, but I'll be back in like 15 minutes with a sketch. Then don't waste your time. I got nothing else to do. Hmm. Um, he just kind of like snorts at you and he like, are you now in his face? Not in his face, but we're eye level now. So I'm like, maybe, kind of like, I'm like maybe like three feet away from him, but we're eye level. Um... He just kind of like looks at you and then turns his head so he's looking past you. Ah, a profile picture. Perfect. And then I float away. Oh no. Kent, what have you been casually (laughs) observing? 
Uh, just listening to the to the deckhands, if there's anything of interest that they're discussing in their casual banter. Uh, but if there's not, that's okay too. I've also been keeping an eye on Dahani. Grew a little concerned when the mouth opened, uh, just because it looked like I might have to get involved and I, I can't get too close. <laughs> Uh, give me, wow, you think I would know how to play D&D or something. Um, can you give me a listening check? Yeah, let's do a perception. Yeah. As I open Salisa's character. That is, I am not proficient, so that is a, tw uh, a 12. You don't hear much, just a little bit of grumbling about these people who are now taking up cabins and wishing the captain would just hurry up and dump them off. But they don't quite say where. Do you want to do either another perception or do you want to try to engage one of them directly? Um, no. If they're already complaining about us, I don't think engaging them directly is the right answer. And obviously Dahani didn't have any better luck with someone who knows more. So yeah, I think if they don't say anything useful, then I'll just wait for Dahani to be done and we'll... <laughs> Figure out what's next. All right. Well, do you? So this is the swabbies. Remember, there is another group of people on deck that you could also eavesdrop on. Oh, sure. We can eavesdrop on them. See if they're saying anything more more relevant to our needs. That one is a crit. So that's twenty three. Oh, you get so much information now. You overhear them complaining a bit, but also very excited about landing on a place called Brawl. That they'll finally get shore leave. That there's places to go hang out. They'll get food that is not from the galley for the umpteenth day in a row. And uh, they're they're talking not super openly, but they are talking enough for you to figure out that you are probably a day's travel, if not less, oh, away from good. a place called Brawl. And um, because they're on Brawl, B R A L B R A L. So. Right. Uh, Kent, are you, are you kind of ghost at this moment? Or are you just kind of leaning, you know, very Assassin's Creed blend in style? Yeah, kind of that leaning, looking over the edge, you know, over the the sides of the ship at the at the astral sea around us. Uh, yeah. Okay, because you said you are leaning over the side, you do see a planet. You can't make oh. out a lot of detail because you are you are kind of far away, but sure, it's clear that the ship is heading toward this planet. Well, at least you think it's a planet. Yeah. I mean, honestly, also, as terrible as the situation is, like, I imagine that's kind of pretty. So I'm happy oh, to, beautiful. to look out on the astral sea and the Rock of Prawl until mm -hmm. Donnie's done. <laughs> oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful things you've seen beside Virgil. Um, uh, nice. Nice touch. And that's so, good. yeah. That's good. You are, you are being... Um, I almost said tourist, because you're, but you're clearly not a tourist. You're almost being tourist, Kent, until you hear the flap of bird wings. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'll sort of give to honey the nod, and we'll meet over on uh the stairwell to head back down, and just okay. I'll let you know I don't get much brawl. I think it might maybe be that. I think we're kind of close-ish. Did you get anything? No, um, he's really uh tight lipped about the whole thing, despite him like opening his giant mouth at me. Lips, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, they're there. Um, but I'm gonna draw him a picture, so hopefully, uh, that will could make you, everything better. Could you not, could you not put lip, I don't know, lips and tiny ears together on him? I don't know. <laughs> Do you, I mean, they're, no, they're not like normal, they're, they're not like they're not like your lips. No, oh, no, no. Okay, no. okay. And I don't think a caricature would work in this instance because he'd just be <laughs> mad. Yeah, maybe let's not. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Although later on when we get home, that might be some like phobia aversion therapy if you just do lots of drawings with tiny, tiny oh. ears and giant lips on him. Oh, I mean, I can do this for you now. I just won't let him. No, 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 no. I, like, mm, I feel like we have other things to worry about now. Uh, maybe okay. not. Yeah. Thank you, though. I look forward to it. Hey. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, now that you've reported everything back to the crew, Dahani does kind of spend. I was just listening to, once they get back to the room, Dahani yeah. does like she's got paper and pencil. She's yes. she does take the while, while they're talking. She takes the next like 10, 15 minutes to actually do a sketch of this of this gif. 
Kent sets okay. up a little like, I don't know if it's just something out of his pack to like screen the drawing from his view while she works on it. Oh my God. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm just like, this is going really far with this whole ear thing. I, um, look, now it's got lips too. Well, yes. How did you think it was talking to you? Yeah. It's got a mouth. It doesn't. It, you know what? Now's not the time. <laughs> you just you just didn't know what part was the mouth and that it, there are. Yeah. It just yeah, don't yeah. need. Yeah, I don't need that level of detail. <laughs> so you all kind of, you know, you now heard the name Brawl. You know that you're not far away from it. So your time is limited. It's okay. And it's been a while since you were you were served a meal. And instead of your meal being brought to you this time, there's another knock on the door. Kent is confused why it doesn't just open on its own. <laughs> Anyone want to <laughs> open the door? I'm going to go open the door. Um, you notice a, they're clearly an officer. They're, they're dressed very well. They're very kind of like, hmm. The captain wants to see you a lot. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, and you are led to the captain's quarters. Well, you know it's captain's quarters. You're not supposed to know that, but you do. Uh, but you're actually led to that other kind of visitor or parlor room where the where the food was laid out that you got into last time. Mm -hmm. um, the door is open. You're led in, and there is a there's a buffet. There's wine on the table, mead, and the captain is sitting at the head, and she looks grumpy, grumpier than usual. And uh, in the time since you all went back to the room, the gif is now there, kind of standing behind her at attention. Oh, yeah. It's her first mate, and you already killed her once, so first defense or not, or self-defense or not, he is, he is not happy with you all. Well, and sometimes people just aren't ready for promotion, and we get that. We put that on him, and he wasn't ready, and we're sorry. Yeah, wow. we tried, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that angle. We might use that later. <laughs> By the way, you, you, you really don't have much time left for mass suggestion to be in effect. So no, keep I mean, that upon, in mind. No, upon coming in, um, you know, Virgil looks at the spread, looks at the table, and um, and says, you know, regardless regardless of our actions we do appreciate the hospitality and my compliments to your chef and she just snarls at you she just she is not amused at this at what all a shock. um <laughs> you say that out loud no oh obviously <laughs> look i i'm just making sure um and she just kind of gestures at the buffet like while you have time left on my ship we should We've been trying. Um, oh, you were the one that we couldn't find until earlier. Well, you've found me now. What shall we talk about? And the gif kind of growls under his breath because he, he knows he's seen you. Ken. I am not looking at him. <laughs> looking at oh, her plate <laughs> on the table or maybe some, you know, lovely bit of I don't know, maybe a necklace or an amulet that she is wearing that is lower than her face so that I don't have to look at her first mate. Well, even if you looked her in the face, a, a gif is big enough where you wouldn't look up at his face. If oh, you fair enough. Face. Okay, great. Because she's sitting, he's standing behind her. He's doing very much like, I am on guard for you. Um, okay. So you all are free to serve yourselves, sit down. Um, the captain is doing her best, which isn't very well, but she's trying to um, seem hospitable, even if she doesn't mean it. So once you all are served, the gift serves her a plate, and she leans back and she's staring at you all. I know you all have the file. I don't know if any of you can read it, but this is your one shot, one time. You may ask me. Five questions. I don't have to answer them truthfully because you didn't affect me with your witchery. But you can ask me questions. Well, we, we know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or should we just start rapid fire? Uh, I mean, she is, she is I think not going to be that. Not going to let a sidebar? Okay. All right. Well, I guess <laughs> go. 
I want to um I'm gonna do this a lot. I'm gonna cast a, a enhanced ability on myself. And what does I, that do? Uh it, I'm gonna choose. Uh I'll tell you. Enhance ability. Um it, it basically gives me advantage on certain roles. And so uh I would like to use that to give myself um owl's wisdom i want advantage on wisdom checks and and things that are associated with that i'm just going to insight this person mm. throughout this conversation and just to like get a vibe of like is this a lie or is this truth i don't need to know anything more obviously they don't need to tell me the truth but i just want to know can i tell when them when they're lying um I just want to boost my insight for the coming insight checks I will ask in response to each question that we give. All right. Just remind me of that when you do your rolls. Gotcha. I'll burn right. a second level spot. All right. And um, anyone else wants to do anything quickly before you start asking your question? Oh, Dahani's going to look around at everybody mm -hmm. and eat. Because they know. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask the first question. No. Yeah, do it. Oh, no. Uh, so What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I go and do a Jerry. Just cry. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That counts as one question. Like five math jokes, one question. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I ask. Um, I ask. How, how did you. Okay. You gotta All think right, about okay. this. Think of it okay. like if you were gonna cast wish. You gotta be real careful. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um okay. Um how did you get us on this ship? That's not a question. Magic. Because we just went to sleep and woke up here, right? So, uh magic? How, what do you mean? How else would I have gotten you from Faerun to here? Magic. All right. Well, if we're not going to get useful okay. answers, then why don't we all have our meal and we will, uh, how, uh, here's, mm. and when we arrive at our destination, the Rock of Brawl, uh, we will disengage and be out of your hair then, Captain. There was no question in there. Uh, but I do want to see what are her face. Uh, I'll make it. Did she react in any way when uh, Kent set our tr destination? She smirks a little bit because mm -hmm. she knows that one of you has the file on you, but she know also knows that maybe she. Well, she doesn't know if you were able to decipher it. She does yeah. know that one of you has the file, so you probably know way more than you should. She just smirks, cool. kind of like smart little rabbits, but okay. We should definitely give that file to Tahani when we get a chance, because uh, I think because you can comprehend most languages, right? No, I can comprehend all spoken languages. All spoken languages that huh? Salise has actual comprehend languages. Um, this is the dangerous part. Okay, um, then one simple question: Who hired you to kidnap us by magic? That's not something I'm going to answer because my life would be forfeit again. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. no. That, that, that is Remember, about. she's yeah. not under the influence of mass suggestion. Right. Can I roll an insight check to the answer to that question? Is it that her, is it that she's afraid that her life would be forfeit or that she Ooh, just does man. not want to spoil this job? I like that. Um, she's not afraid, but yes, there, there are other re things you can find depending on your insight check. Okay. 21. There's not fear in that when she says it. It's more... It's more that she knows, not even the people who hired her, but those that they would check in with would have her ended if mm. she were to give up who hired her. Mm -hmm. um, but if so, I'll tell you this much because I don't want to give away the whole plot. Mm -hmm. If one of you gets a DC 22 or higher on an insight, I will give you a clue. 
Okay. Man, I have it. Oh, I need that. Can, 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 can we all just roll now? Or oh, there it is. It's an, a natural twenty-two, and then and, and there's the nat twenty. Oh it happens God. to get the nat one, and then you get the nat twenty. Sorry, I felt good about that. Um, and I'm sorry you're, that I like that. You're, you're excited. I, I just, I, I, re, I just got a lot of ones. Feels good. I've you been did getting a lot you of. You have. Ones. Wow, you got a thirty-one. I get it. It's yeah. the, it's the good skill I have. I never use survival, but I'm ready with the insight for Gosrick. Let me tell you what. Influenced by the excellent breakfast that he had. Yeah, oh, that's what it was. And you know, Absolutely. he also did use enhanced ability. Yeah. So she kind of like rolls her eyes and. And turns back to look at Gosrick. Fine, I will give you one hint. The rest is up to you to figure out. Think about the people in Waterdeep and in other educational aspects that you could have pissed off and want you gone. It's a long list. No, but right? that, that, that helps out. That helps out a lot. Um, thank you. Laurel doesn't like us. Okay. Um, I like how that's that smiles. Gazrick says that underneath his breath. How many questions uh, has that been? Is that two or three? Um, it's only been two because you started eating and Kent did not actually ask a question. So let, yeah, we're just let you, Dahani, Kent, and Virgil each have a question left if they so choose. I mean... You all are welcome to take a yeah. question at this point to follow along Same. lines that you're already at. I'm yeah. gonna ask the next question. Yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah, go. <laughs> Just firing them off. Um Okay. Uh did you personally do the research in those files on us, or was that given to you by someone else? Neither. Hmm. I kind of felt like an either or. That is. <laughs> I was trying to set it up that way, but yeah. 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 the answer, yeah. 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 The answer. All right. Right. maybe. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, remember, I said she didn't have to answer truthfully. Right. No, you're right. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to ask Virgil's question, go ahead. Virgil's is basically like just kind of very like stone faced eating food and watching all this take place but is is a little tired of being toyed with so he's he's just not saying anything mm-hmm. Ew, i do want to use up all these questions uh shaggy's <laughs> gonna look around and uh-huh. <laughs> and and he sees everyone else uh i guess a little hesitant um so he kind of looks around and 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 like kind of says like do you mind if i you know, uh, you know, and and then after after you shoot off, I either shoot off. Oh, it was a go on, you goof. Shoot, <laughs> shoot, um, get away, <laughs> get away, and answer the, and ask the question. Ask the question. <laughs> and then, uh, Chaka, uh, you know, turns um, turns to uh, the captain and says, "What is your name?" I was wondering if any of you would actually ask that. <laughs> um, she just smirked at that point. And finally, you actually asked a question that I don't mind answering. It is Vidrell. I know all of your names. So you know about Brawl being our destination. Yes. Do you know anything about Brawl? The Rock of Brawl, I should say. Uh, no. So as players, do you know anything? Or as characters, do you know anything? Oh, I don't know anything either. <laughs> no, either. Every, every time I've heard Brawl in the past um, two spell jammer games, I'm like, the Rock of Gibraltar? I'm like, what? Same. Like, same. <laughs> every single time. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, unless you allow us to do like a, I don't know, like a history. Maybe we heard some random thing. Well, we, I mean, we had, something. we did have a book in the library that may have mentioned it. But, uh, sure, and uh, because of Kent's archaeology background, I will give him advantage. 
Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's roll history. Let's see what we got. And I need to go find the rock and roll in case one of you figures this out. I've tried so hard, like, not to just like pour through the Spelljammer books with these games because I'm like, I want to be surprised. Ooh. Yeah. I'm so curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kent got a 29 on his history check. Oh Jesus, you remember everything. All right. <laughs> All of it. Um, Listen, he does lots of damage and is good at most of the skills. All righty. Uh, hold one moment. All right, the Rock of Brawl. It's about 180 years old in Bayroom years. Surprisingly and young, all things considered. In its space, things are still young. So, so for Ken and Virgil, especially, the history you, you know of it or recall would remind you of your pirating days. It is very much a ne'er do well kind of place. Robes, shadowy creatures, dealings, etc., happen on the surface. And and what was your role again at twenty nine? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, with that godlike role, I was only all... a fifteen on the day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you also know that there's a reigning monarch on the rock brawl and that is prince andrew and his court and on the underside of the rock which seems odd but it is basically a giant kind of sized rock out in space that's where everyone goes to get locked up and sent to um work off any debts or anything like that so there are under barons that run things there and the side that you're going to be dropped off on or at least that's the plan you would know of as the high city you know a lot about this in your learnings i'm sorry is it prince andrew the beast <laughs> what isn't that isn't that the beast prince's name for it is that prince andrew that is literally from the book, so I'm not making that up. That's, that is hilarious. No, his name is his name is Prince Adam. Yeah, his name is Adam. Adam. Yeah. Oh, Adam, yeah. Adam, Adam. Okay, 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 okay. I was going to make a joke. I was really stuck on that. I was thinking about like the actual monarchy, Prince Andrew. And oh, I was right. Like, I was like, we all we all like that Prince Andrew. Right. Yeah, we're all good with hitting on that. Prince I was like, his name is the Beast. Why would they say that? Sorry, y'all. My lights are freaking out. Um, and suddenly a dramatic light hits Kent. Yeah. And, an epiphany. Uh, and is his court so he's got a lot of advisors but the ones that you may or may not have read about would be the proconsul Gadaric and captain Mahagzara. so those are the two that are more known in history so yeah you get a lot of info on that 29 mm. so um i want to process the fact that i how confident am I that, like, when I say that Laurel is the one who did it and I see her react to it, like, can I, were there any other tells? Can I, like, almost, like, be an introspective moment, do my own history check, um, like, noting if there are any other moments where I could have seen Laurel making moves against us to, like, affirm this, this hypothesis? Yes, but since you are one of the newer additions to the rivals, you'll need kind of a high DC. So roll it and let me know what you get. For sure, for sure, for sure. Does your enhance ability apply to this as well? No, because uh, uh, history is an intelligence, and I chose to play okay. stone. So this is this is just going to be the roll that I got. There's a plus nine on an eighteen, so is a twenty-seven. There have been things here and there, but nothing that would have caught your attention. Yeah. Especially because you all are mass lords of Waterdeep. So why right. would Laurel give you that kind of power if she planned to get rid of you anyway? And Laurel loves me. Like, <laughs> uh, is a big <laughs> fan of Gosrick. And to get rid of this... Guys, this is... I, I, I'm pretty positive it's Laurel, but did we recently do something? I'm, this is virtual. troubling. What was, sorry, what was the clue that Gosrick got again? Um... Uh, it was the slight reaction 
when uh, Brawl was mentioned, and then it was basically because of that insight check of who someone that you've encountered recently that you would have pissed off and want your way. And she mentioned scholarly and in Waterdeep specifically. Uh, the fact that it was in Waterdeep and wanted us away remind what I got sent back to like that cryptic messaging that Laurel had said to us in terms of like doing whatever they needed to do to protect Waterdeep, even from us. And so I was like, oh, okay. So it's it's us. We're out of here. Um, and okay. Yeah. However, um, like piggybacking off of that, if Laurel is the one who orchestrated this, I'm Dahani is of the opinion that if this is the way that it had to be, there's a reason for it. It's not to protect Waterdeep from us. It's to get us somewhere to protect Waterdeep from something. Hmm. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Well, I thought about trust Frankly. in Laurel, which honestly I believe because as my best friend, I would doubt that they would do this to us. That's I know, right. I know that's hurtful to hear. Yes, Laurel is my best friend. I know that's some of you thought it would be you all here in this room, but frankly, we're work associates, very good work associates. But you got to say, mm -hmm. you say she's your best friend, but you can't even say her name right. Lara Silverhand. That's not what you've said the last nine times. Laurel? Laurel. 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 Oh, Laurel. Boy. La La no. Laurel. Uh, we're done. No, we're, done. we're done with yeah, that one. Yeah, we're done we're with, done that, with yeah. that one. <laughs> all right. So um I... Vigil has just been like drinking her wine slowly and watching all the shenaniganry. All right, now you're actually boring me. Oh, before we leave, uh, can I give this picture to your friend? My friend? What do you mean? I point at the at the her first mate. Oh, also, what are your names? I think we still had one question. Well, her <laughs> her name is Vedrell. Vedrell. Vedrell, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your What's your gift friend's name? He is my first mate. He is not merely my friend, and I believe he told you he didn't want this drawing from you. But his no, name... he just he said he just he told me not to waste my time, but that didn't mean he didn't want it. And the gif just kind of like, even though the ears are small, they swivel a little bit in annoyance like a cat does. And he just, my name is Lucian, and I do not want your drawing. Fine, I'll keep it then. And she, she holds it up to show him, and it looks really good. You know, he looks all regal and everything, but it's, she holds, good. it's really good. And I'm just like, fine, I'll keep it as a reminder of my journey on what's the name of your ship? That is. Oh, great you. question. What, yeah. what did you say, Tanya? Wait, what'd you say? That is not something they're going to tell you. <laughs> well, at least that's what the gif replies immediately. Mm -hmm. um, gif isn't part I, of the question asking, asking thing. Rude. I know, but I actually do have a name for the ship. I just need to find it <laughs> for a minute. It's okay. Uh, it's like, we won't tell you that. Five minutes later, Kent just looks over the side. <laughs> no. Um, it is not just painted on there. Um, I wrote it down, and I wrote it down somewhere not in my document. Ah, I, okay. I do have it. So, the draw just sighs. Don't mind him. He's annoyed at all of you, as are the rest of the crew and me. But it is the Nebula's fortune. Cool. Dahani still doesn't like. Dahani fully understands why they're annoyed at the rivals, but she doesn't. It's not that she doesn't care. It's that she didn't do anything. She wasn't part of that. Yeah, like right. <laughs> they're annoyed at her by association, and that's the worst to her. <laughs> Um, and so she just is annoyed and he says, fine, fine. You've gotten a meal. Get your things and we're putting you ashore. On the Rock of Brawl? Oh, yes. You're, you're, we're not even going to the planet. We're just putting you on your own ship 
that I believe Virgil would probably commandeer and steer you there. Hmm. All right. Oh, come on. You think we don't know about the incident? I don't care at this point what you do or don't know about us. You've clearly just been toying with us. If we are nothing more than a job to you, why don't you simply treat us as such and send us where we're going? Oh, as you wish. And she snaps her fingers. The doors uh, open and the gif. Oh, no, we lost. Oh, yeah. we've, lost we've lost our. That's what you yeah. Oh, no. Can, well, we've can lost Ken, so to... now Virgil's going to kill everybody on the ship. So, just... <laughs> yeah. well, it was <laughs> nice knowing all how, big, how big is an ice storm? In let's see, the <laughs> door the door opens and Kent not <laughs> not expecting it to open just ghosted, just ghosts. Uh, uh, we'll hold up while I come back. We um, will vamp for a second. Yeah, yeah. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. We vamp in uh, and we and go into the this city. This is a wonderful. This is actually a wonderful time to bring we up the fact in, that we move um, in on our way. No, oh, yeah, yeah, this is a wonderful time to bring up the fact that, as we've mentioned several times, and we will continue to mention until we are out of breath, uh, that we currently have an Indiegogo to support keeping the rivals afloat through the remainder of our story. Um, unfortunately, our story is only funded through what is it? The next wait, three weeks. The next three weeks, three weeks. right? And um, we are hoping that we'll be able to raise enough support so that we can compensate our crew, we can compensate our cast, we can compensate our tech, we can pay for our upkeep, and we can continue to tell the story and finish it at level 20. And basically the powerful badasses that we are. And, um, oh, okay, I'm, are we hearing that? Okay, uh, we are hearing that uh, Eugenio may not be able to join us again, so we will rearrange one moment. We'll get everything resituated. <laughs> Come on back. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, not, not. Damn. That's a that's that's a zero Ever. moment note. That's not a two uh, moment. It's like a zero um, moment. It's like I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> um, that okay. Well, yeah. tech things happen. Um, but we do appreciate yeah. everybody who has donated, who has supported, who has basically helped us continue uh, to raise those funds, and who signal boosted us on social media. It's very much appreciated. And while our awesome people behind the scenes get us going, um, I'm out of words because no. I can I can hop in there. I no, I think you you've done a great uh, nail on the head. Um, we have been running for a little bit. We're over twenty thousand dollars. We've been funded for the show, and uh, we're trying to get a goal that'll allow us to do two full seasons. So if folks want to hop in there and support, it would really make a big difference um, to getting us to our goal and getting us just able to continue telling this fun show that, as all of you in chat have been having a good time enjoying. Uh, to let that ride um yeah we're really excited about it there's a lot of great gifts and a lot of great uh reward tiers if you want a little more incentive or just thinking about the perks of uh giving a little bit more um i, I was about to say something really bold and so you could say it's a tax deduction but i don't know if that's true um but okay we're not we're definitely, yeah, yeah we are oh, we are yeah. definitely not <laughs> yeah in, we are no. not <laughs> Gosrick Gosrick is an accountant. Well, Gosrick understands contracts. I, said, like, <laughs> I don't think too. this is right. I don't Not think, so much. No. I didn't couch it as saying definitely do this. I said if anything, this is a blasphemy that's coming out of my mouth. Hashtag uh, not legal advice. <laughs> Not legal. Uh, yeah, no, I, I uh, definitely come check it out. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff on the actual Indiegogo as well that you can scroll through um, and keep an eye on as things are developing. Some of the stuff that also will be releasing as we um, build the new season out, like some digital art and some other content as well. Um, yeah. I'm really excited about that. Um, um, another thing that we're also excited about is, I don't know if anybody else is checking the calendar, but PAX Unplugged is in just under a month. Terrifying. Just it really, under it's a month. so soon. Yeah. It is, because it's so much to get ready for. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so many, like you're getting ready for your panels, you're getting your endurance training in, you're making sure there's room in your suitcase, like all those things, because you're going to yeah. like walk the convention floor and do all the shopping and play you're all do the everything. board games. I love their game library. Mm -hmm. However, the most important thing, obviously, you can ignore literally everything else at PAX Unplugged, because the most important thing is our live show um which this year we'll be doing at our exact time on sunday december 4th mm -hmm. on, uh, on the main theater so 
Um, if you are able to be there with us, we would love to see you. We'd love to do the live whoosh with you in, um, in the audience. And yeah. um, we will make sure to let everybody know to watch the, oh, pardon me, little, I get a little emotional <laughs> or, or gassy. I'm not sure which it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Something but, is uh, welling up inside you. Indeed. If you're watching at home, uh, you'll be able to watch it on the, uh, on the PAX network and we'll make on the PAX Twitch channel and we'll make sure to let everyone know uh, where to catch us. But we cannot wait to see you again. It was so yes. fun to do it last year. And I'm really looking forward to it again. And I don't know. I get excited about it. I'm like, yeah, let's like do the thing and travel and have the fun. Hey, right? Shout um, out to our producer, DC, for uh, making that magic incredible, happen. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, the, yeah. the layout is fixed. There is a you whole got, gorgeous you, honey, space. You headshot in there. Yes. That's good. That's and 100% shout out. on it. See, this is the type of stuff that you will you will help us continue to be able to do if you support our Indiegogo because Absolutely. we'd be we'd be lost without DC. Yeah, we'd be so lost. <laughs> yes. um, Thank you, DC. So sadly, uh, it looks like Yehin is having some uh, very very technical issues at home, so we'll not be able to join us for the rest of the show. But uh, winding back in, uh, yeah, Virgil, in very polite ish terms told the captain where to stuff it oh she, uh, she's well aware of what you did uh -huh. she actually smiles at you too bad this isn't under other circumstances i'd probably like you every opportunity for you to like us was given and you turned them all down so you're right <laughs> this won't be those other circumstances cool and she just um, waves in the porter who has who has a cart behind him. This is your first chance to kind of see other technology at work where it's it's levitating, but it doesn't seem like it's by magic. All your stuff is there. The the things that you brought with you. And she's just it. like and she just kind of looks at you all well, enjoy your trip to Brawl. And good luck. And with that, she waves you all off, and you are sent below decks to to a much smaller skiff equivalent. Before and, we leave, I yeah. I I take the drawing and I put it under my plate and I leave it there. That's real smart. Oh, oh, that was sweet, but it's not going to get you anywhere. I don't care. It wasn't for I the point. Him. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, no. It was for him. No, it was for. Dahani. Dahani right. did like it's theirs at this point. Whatever they do with it is theirs. Yeah. I did I did what I wanted to do. Exactly. Wow, you sass pops. This is all gonna come back and bite you. <laughs> How? We're leaving. We're leaving. Bye. Bye. And on the way out, I cast fireball. I'm not even a warlock. Oh my I cast god. Fireball. <laughs> do you actually do that? No, I think not. Of course not. Sir. Sir. Vince, all right. Uh all right. So you are escorted down to the skiff. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where we're going to leave it as the doors open and you're all kind of shuffled on there, including Kent, who's just with all of you. Yeah. yeah. And basically, it just, it's weird. It's very weird. It's not a normal ship like you're used to, Virgil. Mm -hmm. It's very space age, but we're going to figure that out next week. Okay. So, um, since we do have some technical difficulties, we are going to do our outros. We may get one or two questions in. But uh, starting in the opposite direction, so we're going to start with Sharif. So, Sharif, who are you? What do you do? Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Sharif Jackson. Uh, you can find me at SharifJackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, Jackson.com. Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, don't have any shows that I can publicize right now, though there might be something coming up with the uh, new version of uh, Kids on Bikes that is currently uh, being kickstarted and stuff. So be on the lookout for that um and and if you want to check my old uh kids on bike stuff uh you could check that out on roll 20 and pixel circuses uh youtube pages um uh, there so i'm pretty excited for that but uh can't announce anything official yet but uh very very fun stuff um other than that just chilling grading and looking forward to seeing everybody at uh pax u so. awesome next up would be oh, Eugenio. Yeah, I was, gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. Um, that would be uh, that would be uh, DM Eugenio. Uh, catch him everywhere online as DM Jazzy Hands. Sorry, DM Jazzy Hands. 
Uh, catch him on his Twitch channel, uh, generally streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also go to uh, thelastrefuge.com to check out that podcast. Mm -hmm. Also catch him along with me, Mondays, um, Idol Champions Presents Hunger of the Far Realm over at twitch.tv slash cnegames. Oh, goodness. I know that he's got more things happening, and I will ask him for them next time, just in case. Mm -hmm. I know you should just go to, the, go to his Twitter. His go to his Twitter. Yeah, check out his Twitter. Follow all of us on our lovely social handles that are below, and yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. best way to know what's happening with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that leaves you. Next. Hi, uh, as I said, I am Brian, aka Urban Bohemian. It's been a lot of fun today. I am. Let's see. Wow, I don't. Uh, is there anything major happening soon or lately? I'm not oh, sure. Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. If you aren't playing Idol Champions or you aren't playing Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, <laughs> next week, the Feast of the Moon starts on Wednesday, November 9th. You are able to be able to unlock Virgil. You're going to have all the rivals. We have amazing, uh, we have amazing ability synergies that happen when you have all of us in the formation and then line us up all just right. I am really looking forward to that. Um, that happens on Wednesday. Uh, keep an eye out on my social media because I'm probably going to never shut up about it. Yeah, and um, then I'm. We're obviously going to be streaming more of that. I will see if I can rope Eugenio into uh, like coming on my stream as a as on voice. But um, beyond that, you can catch me here on Sundays. Uh, you can catch me Monday again on twitchtv games for Idol Champions Presents Hunger of the Far Realm. You can catch me on my own channel on Tuesdays. Uh, you may catch me various other places this week because it's a huge deal for me to have a character I created in a video game. Like huge. Um, let's see huge. Thursday. Uh, you, huge. Huge. Uh, huge. Thursday, you can catch me over at twitch.tv slash kdamfear for a uh, godplane, a five, um, sorry about that, a D&D &D 5e horror campaign. Also on Thursdays, the latest episode of Cyberpunk Independence, a podcast that I'm on using Cyberpunk Red comes out. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. If not, follow me there and see. Because <laughs> I'm sure I forgot something. Hey, yeah. Tuesdays on uh, my own channel, yeah. Packs unplugged. And packs unplugged. Oh, we talked about that. Yeah, we, we basically, yeah, we, we pushed all that stuff. Okay. We, uh, during, uh, during the, the, the vamping, we, we, yeah, 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 see you. Okay, time. good. Uh, uh, Masood. Hey, everyone, I'm Masood. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I, as the uh, overlay says. Um, that's a nice joke for anyone who was here last week. Um, but yeah, you can definitely find me and keep up to date what I'm doing there. Um, Instagram to see random things that I put on my story, which includes predominantly just pictures of my cat, but they're really cute. So like, come on, I can't blame me. Um, yeah, I, I'm right now. I just uh, finished up in acting conservatory and I've got the Pax Unplugged coming up and doing this stuff with rivals. But if you're looking for someone to hop in on a stream, if you're looking for a player or a GM to come in there, let me know. Love to fill my time. Um, but yeah, that's me. I, if you want to see what I'm doing or what's going on, check out my Twitter and I'm going to pass it to Letia. Oh, hey, that's me. <laughs> Hi, um, I got nothing going on, but you can find me everywhere at Latia Jaquis or at Latia uh, based on some of these brand new websites where I was able to secure just my first name because that's great. Mm -hmm. um, I had some news last week and that I'm leaving my job mm -hmm. and I'm going to another one at some point and I'm not telling you what it is. You'll just have to wait and see, <laughs> uh, but it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, anything I got going on, you can find me on the twitters because i will be on the deck playing nearer my god to thee until that ship sinks mm -hmm. that's all nice. uh and i've been your dm i'm usually sleazy and fey let's see motherlands is back it will be episode six of ten this week the weeks have flown by uh streaming on my own channel of course um i feel like i'm forgetting something important but I can't remember what it is. Um, obviously excited for Virgil to come to Idol Champions. Then we all get to be in the game. It's so dope. And um, yeah, that's mainly it. Playing games, painting minis, doing a bunch of stuff. And uh, also a special shout out to Painting Pirate, who helped me come up with the name for the ship. Nice. I am terrible at naming things. So awesome. Pirate, I don't know if you're in chat still, but thank you for that. And uh, yeah, we got a question, which I think we can answer. Yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. to, I haven't been here for two weeks, so I forgot that I'm usually the one who pops the command in chat first, <laughs> and I did not do oh, that's that. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine, because we're running a little late, so it's okay, but it is, we do have one question. And it's uh, for me. 
All right. Um, question for Dahani. Do you be doing any more sketches based on your time on the ship? Uh, probably, given that the only opportunity to see things to sketch has been today, uh, there will probably be sketches later. Nice. All right. I think that wraps it up. Uh, thank you to DC, who is always behind the scenes, making us sound and look good. Yeah. Uh, and I think one of our favorite bars is live with more data boy before the new game comes out. Boy. Oh, I say boy. <laughs> and I think that's uh, where we're going to go. Worst example right of fatherhood ever, I gotta tell you. Like, <laughs> for most of the game. Just... He, gets, he gets a little better. He gets a little better. A little? Little? Maybe? No? Okay. Um, well, hopefully he gets better. The like a thimbleful day. better. Like <laughs> you saw, it was this much. It wasn't a lot. I, I didn't say a whole cup. Just that much. Just that much. I mean, hopefully he gets better in the new game. We'll have to wait and see for three more Doesn't days. It looks fire regardless. So we go like. <laughs> <We're>, it, <laughs> yeah, I, I will be awake. I'm getting up at midnight to go play this game. Okay. But but with that, we're done for this week. Thanks again for hanging out. Thanks again to all your support for Indiegogo. Yes, I'm throwing that link out one more time so the mod can do that. Uh, Wednesday, watch Brian's socials for Virgil unlocking in Idol Champions. And we're going to go take a break and then do more of that Patreon content you can get for 10 whole dollars. Ten whole bucks. All right. Um, we're going to start a raid. DC, if you could put us on the end screen, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, y'all.